The racing capital of the world set the scene for the Tudor United Sports Car Championship Brickyard Grand Prix. Ryan Dial and Johannes Van Overbeck swept the front row in qualifying for Honda. The number one machine showed early signs of difficulty fighting to stay on pace with faulty traction control. And late in the contest got tangled up with Scott Pruitt and spun out. Both teams took a gamble on fuel in hopes of a yellow that never came. So each had to get a splash of fuel late in the race. Van Overbeck finished seventh in class. Dial pitted with just under 13 minutes remaining. Yeah, we kind of went the opposite. We decided to um, not try and stretch it too much. We were saving fuel a little bit just to uh, try and shorten that last stop. Um, just, we, you know, the two leaders when we were behind them, we just couldn't believe uh, how long they managed to go on fuel. So threw us off a lot. I mean, I think they went five laps more than us. Um, so that put us in a, look, a little bit of a conservation mode. Um, wasn't enough and then uh, I had the mistake with the spin trying to uh, pass the GT car so rough day I mean so much potential uh, both cars on the front row and uh, you know I, I don't know what else we could have done I mean uh, I think that we got involved in situations that uh, weren't necessarily our fault um, we both made mistakes and uh, positives are the car ran flawless so it's a good run for the HPD Honda um, had some changes in the team this weekend crew-wise and it uh, seems like we've made a step in the right direction but I don't know we're scratching our heads a little bit I don't know what else we can do I mean we obviously have fast cars and I think we had the fastest lap of the race but if we can't uh, we can't race with the DPs then uh, it's quite frustrating. In spite of the finish it was a successful weekend for Honda as DL collected his first pole of the year. From the Brickyard I'm Stacy Pates Honda Racing HPD Trackside.